Hi, welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a look at how to use the status bar to display helpful information. Here I have a drop down list that has player jersey numbers. When I select a number from the drop down, it displays the player name, the number of goals scored, and the number of matches played in this area right here. This is a very simple example for you to get a feel of things that can be done using the status bar. I'm going to trigger an event based macro when the selection from the drop down list is changed, which will look up the player name, goals code, and the number of matches played from the master sheet and display the information on the status bar. So first of all, let's define a name for cell A40, which is a drop down cell and for the master data from where the values will be looked up. If you don't know how to use define names, check out this link. I have a video which will help you understand the concept of name ranges thoroughly. Name ranges are fantastic, especially while doing VBA. And if you don't know about it, I urge you to pause this video right here, check out that video first and then return again. So first of all, let's define a name for range A40. Let's call it DD for drop down. Similarly, for the master data, let's call it master. So now that we have named ranges, let's start with the code. Right click on the sheet name and select view code to enter the worksheet module. Select worksheet from the object dropdown to access events of that individual worksheet. Then select change event from the procedure dropdown. Whenever any value on this worksheet is changed, the macro will get triggered. Let's start with a simple line application dot status bar equals application dot worksheet function dot v lookup lookup value is range dd the lookup array is sheet master dot range master comma two comma zero it's a simple VLOOKUP to get values from the master data from the second column. If we change the column index number to 3 or 4, it should get us the goal scored or the matches played value for the selected player. Let's see what happens when we select a different value from the drop down. We have now started getting the player name. That's awesome. All we are now going to do is concatenate strings. So let's copy this whole text and start concatenating strings and putting necessary words in between. Let's try changing values again and see how the value on the status bar changes based on the selection. It works fine, but the problem here is the code will always run even if any value on the whole worksheet changes, which is something we can optimize. We only want the code to run when the value on the dropdown changes, right? So we can use the intersect method to achieve this. We can wrap the existing code inside of the intersect method, something like if not intersect target range dd is nothing then don't forget to put the end if line at the bottom the intersect method will ensure that the code is run only if the change cell is on the drop down list you can read more about the intersect method by clicking here It works nicely, but also notice the status bar does not revert back on its own. We'll need some sort of a code to clear the status bar when the job is over. So on a standard module, let's have a simple sub procedure to clear the status bar. Let's call the sub procedure clear status bar. And let's have a simple line of code that says application dot status bar equals false. 
Then on the original code, we can use the onTime method to clear the status bar after displaying it for a certain amount of time. Let's say for 3 seconds. We can write something like application.onTime now plus time serial 0 hours 0 minutes and 3 seconds comma and the procedure which we are calling is clear status bar. So let's put that between quotes. Now try changing the value to see how the code responds. Also notice how the status bar gets cleared on its own after being displayed for 3 seconds. Hope you found this video useful. You can download the exercise file from my website by clicking on the Dropbox link. If you find my videos useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. See you soon.